implicit differentiation implicit differentiation so what do you mean by implicit function the functions which are in the form of f of x comma y is equal to 0 are called implicit equation or implicit function in the form of f of x comma y is called implicit function differentiation of these functions is called implicit differentiation here for examples a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 x square plus y square is equal to r square x y is equal to c square now a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0 or even linear equation also in two variables a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 all these type of equations are called implicit functions. So, if you differentiate all these functions that is called implicit differentiation. So, for, for example, let us take this one third one example x y is equal to c square differentiate with respect to x. Now, d by d x of x y is equal to d by d x of c square except x comma y variables rest of the va values should be taken as constants only uv method this is x into derivative of y dy by dx plus y into d by dx of x this is 0. So, x dy by dx plus y into 1 y is equal to 0 x dy by dx is equal to minus y. So, dy by dx is equal to minus y by x. This method is known as implicit differentiation. So, now let us go to the parametric differentiation. Parametric differentiation. Parametric differentiation. parametric differentiation. Suppose the equations are like this x is equal to g of t, y is equal to f of t, where t is a parameter, it is a parameter. Then how to find out dy by dx in this case? First consider y is equal to f of t find it differentiation dy by dx is equal to f dash t or dy by dt find out sorry equation 1 take x is equal to g of t so differentiate with respect to t dx by dt is equal to g dash t say 2 now 1 divided by 2 do it that means dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So, that is equal to f dash t by g dash t. So, let us discuss one problem x is equal to a cos theta y is equal to a sin theta, where theta is a parameter, then find dy by dx. Okay, let us find out. So, first you take y is equal to a sin theta, 
differentiate with respect to theta. So dy by d theta is equal to a into derivative of sin theta is cos theta. So x is equal to a cos theta. So dx by d theta that is minus a sin theta. Now dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. See what do we get? a cos theta by minus a sin theta. a a gets cancelled, we get minus cot theta. So now, derivative of a function with respect to other function. Derivative of a function with respect to other function okay let us consider one example here so now find derivative of derivative of e power sin x with respect to sin x with respect to sin x. Suppose let us say y is equal to e power sin x differentiate with respect to x. Now what do we get dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e power sin x. e power sin x differentiation is e power sin x into sin x differentiation is cos x. Now let z is equal to sin x differentiate with respect to x dz by dx is equal to d by dx of sin x which is equal to cos x. Now dy by dz we have to find out that means derivative of y with respect to z derivative of e power sin x with respect to sin x dy by dx divided by dz by dx that is e power sin x into cos x by cos x cos x cos x cancel we have e power sin x 